Hello, gorgeous. Hello, hello. How are you? Good, good. I am. We are recording. We are live. So yeah, let's uh, let's just give people a, a second to hop on here. So, how's your morning been so far? Oh my goodness. It's been super peaceful and restful. Uh, typically I wake up pretty early in the morning and today I decided to stay in bed. Both my kids wanted to snuggle and I decided to get up a little bit later and just listen to what my body needed. Mm -hmm. And then Rachel, I'll tell you, so as you know, I live in Colorado. We get a lot of sunshine here. And we had so much sunshine just streaming in the windows this morning. Oh, nice. oh it was so, so I sat on the couch and I just, I just basked in the sun. It mm. felt so good. What about nice. you? Tell me about your morning. Yeah, I just, I got up a little earlier than I usually do. And it's just like, I'm going to take a bath this morning. So I made myself my Bulletproof coffee and my French press. I just have it black. And I just literally sat in the tub for probably an hour and a half. I did some really beautiful uh, readings for myself and just had all these just beautiful creative collaborative hits come to me and I just felt really good because with everything going on I've just it's just been crazy right and just allowing yourself to what we're going to talk about in this live call how to declutter and just be a little bit more open to actually having time to ourselves and relax is something that, you know, busy mothers, busy professionals, whether you're a man or woman, whatever, it's sometimes difficult for us to just. Oh my goodness, yes. It is to turn off. And part of this, Rachel, is that we have lived in a society that has been addicted to busy. That's, that's what we talk about. It's just addicted to busy. And I was one of those people that thought the busier I was, the more successful I was, the, uh, the busier I was, the, the more important I was. And so always just going, going, going and mm -hmm. never stopping was just a recipe for disaster in a sense. It was a recipe for like a heavier life, a more exhausted life. And so I'm super excited just to like chat with you today about living light and radiant. Yeah. Yeah, and you got some good self-care products coming your way. They should be on your doorstep. Uh, your your recent little skincare um, kit is on its way. So any day, and I can't wait for you to open up your products, try them out, and then just really feel the difference on your skin with you know the cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub that I laid out just for you. And uh, also, I wanted to just just really kind of. Give each give everybody a little bit of, of of a break right now. I know that things are pretty uh, tight for a lot of people financially, but we still want to be able to you know get our hands on products, self care products, whether that's your cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub. You don't want to lax on what you're doing to your skin at this time, especially because I've. I've been doing um, online calls with people from all over Canada, U.S., Iceland. Ireland, France, Italy, Denmark, all over. And everyone's kind of saying the same thing right now is that our skin's kind of like dry, rough, irritated, more breakouts. What are you feeling? Oh, totally. I think the stress is coming out in our skin. I mean, the stress is just trying to find its way out no matter what. So maybe you're not sleeping as well or you're not eating. Just It's just your thoughts are heavier. Totally. But it's um, definitely my I, – I, Colorado is pretty dry, but my skin has been drier than, than normal for sure. Yeah. And, and self-care – is so important right now. I mean, it's mm -hmm. always important, but if not now, when really, I, I, I can't think of a more important time to slow down, to find that pause in the day and just to be able to take care of yourself. And I love self-care. Self-care feels great. So well, I mean, I, I think like, it's oh. a survival thing. It's not a luxury. It's something that we need to do. I just want to say hi to M. Schwartz. Thanks so much for joining us here. And we've just kind of been chatting about our, our morning routine this morning and just having, it be, having us be okay with taking the time to just look after ourselves. Yes. Right? Close the door. Rachel Hollis talks about this and girl, wash your face. Close the door. 
you know, everyone can just stay out there while we just kind of do our own thing. And I think it's just really important what you mentioned with the sleep thing over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, sleep's been really tricky for me. And I feel like I'm just now kind of sinking into it. But anyways, what I was what I was getting at before we went on this self-care tangent was I wanted to offer everyone who's uh, hi Melanie. I wanted to offer everyone on this call a little bit of a, you know, uh, okay, here's a way that I can give back to you. So Heather, why don't you share uh, your special uh -huh. code with everybody on the call? Yeah. Here. So, Hey, Melanie, great to see you here. And uh, oh, it looks like sleep has been an issue for her as well. Totally. And so the code, just write it down, keep it, um, just keep it handy, but it's simply full one word and simply full. You might be wondering like, what the heck does that mean? Uh, and it's, it's the name of a virtual membership that I have. It's a community of women, uh, women who are releasing their extra clutter, whether that's heavy thoughts, tangible things, uh, foods that are acting like clutter in the body and just really finding this intentionality and finding this happiness and finding a full life. Like it does mm. not have to be complicated. And so Rachel, thank you so much because Rachel is extending a wonderful, a wonderful discount. If you use that code, code simply full one word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So simply full at my website, rachelvarga.ca, that's going to get you 15% off site wide, everything there. And I just really want to make sort of like self-care your, you know, simplifying your beauty routine doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need like an eight step morning routine. Keep it to like three. That's it. And, uh, you know, Heather, you know, all about that and how I've been able to help you out with that. So that'll be another talk, <laughs> but, but it's possible. I want to say it's possible. Yeah, so sure. I, I am an aspiring minimalist and we live, uh, we live in a, a home that's only 1300 square feet. It's a small home. There are four of us, Rachel, we have one bathroom. I have to share a bathroom with my husband and two boys, oh, eight yeah. and nine year old boys. <laughs> And so, but there is still room for my self care. Mm -hmm. It can still happen. And the bathroom can still feel luxurious and a place to pause and a place to get away from the chaos and yeah. a place to say, you know what? I'm locking that door and I am going to take care of myself <laughs> and yeah. feel amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I want to hear from you, Melanie. How has your skin been? Because we were just talking about, you know, mine, it's been a little dry. I've noticed more breakouts pop up just with, you know, navigating the stress and everything. I've been doing everything I can to really stay grounded, keep that stress level low. But what I've been hearing, you know, from people all over the world, dryness, roughness, more breakouts. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to hear from some of you guys. So well, Heather, are you noticing that? What was that? It's dry in Colorado. It's yeah, and Melanie's okay. in Ohio. Um, and she said that um, skin has been okay. Hair is getting, uh, hair is letting go though. Oh, the hair. <laughs> I just oh, that. like roots or like hair loss? Because uh, oh, yeah. that is, I, mean, I actually would say I've even noticed a little bit of that too, just even on my hairline, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. So a way that you can mitigate any hairline loss here is actually with, yeah, that's exactly what she's oh, saying, yeah. hair loss. Um, you can actually use your dermal roller and then use a, a particular solution. So I talk about that in my consultation and I don't just sell rollers to anybody. Like you have to know how to use them properly and get them from a trusted manufacturer. So that's a really good at-home option is doing the dermal rolling and maybe using a, a little bit of like a hair growth uh, solution, which I talk about during a consult. Cause obviously I can't talk about medications on here without. Oh, that's you know, so amazing. Oh, there one. are options. Yeah, and we just had Kelly join in here. Hey Kelly, tell us where you're from, how your skin's doing right now. We also want to hear uh, Hi, you Kelly. Know, how you're taking time to care for yourself. We just shared our, our little morning routine. I took like an hour and a half bath add like a whole thing of my bulletproof coffee, French press, did some, uh, you know, just time doing a little bit of reading for myself. You guys all know what that's like. Uh, yeah. Just taking that time to like, just kind of tune into yourself. Sometimes Oracle cards are kind of fun because they can just kind of get you into your, um, you know, your subconscious anyway. 
Yeah, and so I know Kelly. Kelly's in Canada. Kelly, we are thinking about you. Oh, so Kelly, Rachel's in Canada, Canada as well, but you guys are on opposite ends, I think. So, um, did you know that Canada has a tenth of the population of the U.S.? No, I did not. I did not. That's crazy. You yeah. guys know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to connect, Kelly. And yeah. so. So Heather mentioned something really interesting before we hopped on the call, because you listen to one of my podcasts. Um, I'm on the Rachel Varga podcast. Check it out. Body, mind, spirit, energy. I bring the woo into radiance and, and skin and self-care and all that. And what, what, share with everybody what you heard that was just interesting to you. Right. So I was walking my dog at the park. This is before coronavirus. This is when it was okay to go out to parks and, and, congregate with others and I was listening to Rachel I have to say um, Melanie and Kelly Kelly Rachel I Rachel I love your voice like it's very soothing and um, I found your podcast was listening to it and you had gone to Ireland and you had gone I don't know if you were doing the castle tour or what but you had gone to a certain castle and you walked around and you just felt like you were home mm -hmm. and th it's been months since I've listened to this podcast but you felt as if you'd been there before, you had goosebumps all over, and it just like you, you recognized what you were seeing. And you got really curious and interested in the history of this particular castle. And so when you came back to North America, when you came back to Canada, you did some digging in and some research, and you found the story of that particular castle. And when you found, uh, you found some images of the queen, was it the queen that lived there? One of the, the lady in the castle, Lady Isabella of at Kilkenny Castle. Okay, yes, and what a just beautiful, like the two of you, your images together, like just weird. Very yeah, there's a, a stone carving of uh, Lady Isabella in this doorway, and I just took a selfie, and it was like, so her stone carving was here, and then there was my face. I looked at the photos, what? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Explanation, you know, you guys go for that yourself. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool because sometimes we just find places that light us up. We find activities that light us up where we just feel really good and don't disregard that. One of my favorite places to go here on Vancouver Island, it, it, I don't know what it is, but I just get super grounded there. But even if you can't leave your house right now, just mentally take yourself there. Yes. Yes. And, and so that's a good point. You can't leave your house right now. So how can we do this? How can we create sanctuary mm -hmm. within our own homes or our backyards or our balconies or whatever it is that we have right now? Because it truly is different for everybody. And uh, this morning, it's not something I do every morning, but I was mentioning to Rachel earlier, uh, Kelly and Melanie, I sat on the couch in the living room and the sun was just pouring in and I just let it soak into me and it felt so good and it was a pause I mean really it was my my white space it was my mm -hmm. my quiet stillness between all of that busyness and it was also me telling myself Rachel it's okay to pause right now and for somebody who's type A and an extrovert and a go, go, go person who was addicted to busy for all those decades but trying not to be so anymore um, we have to hear sometimes like it's okay to slow down and some mm -hmm. of us know this uh, but some of us aren't i haven't matured into that yet i'm i'm maturing my way into knowing that at a deeper level and so sometimes i feel like oh i should be productive i should i should be creating this or creating that and i think in the end we're more creative we're more industrious if we do give ourselves those pauses we are actually i did a really great interview with um uh, with, with Dr. Elka Cook, that was actually the interview I did talking about, you know, how I felt in certain places of the world. And, and she's an emergency room physician that's transitioned into functional medicine, which I just adore. And she's actually talking about some of the research out there that getting in nature, slowing your mind, being creative actually gives you the ability to be more productive, to be more present, to do more. But, you know, we do need to take a step back, a big step back, because, you know, this black swan we're going through, there can be, and there is, 
going to be light at the end of the tunnel, right? And you just need to even just, just take a second. Let's just all do this. Just drop in and find one thing that we're grateful for right now. I'm grateful for sunshine. <laughs> and having that sunshine be on my skin that 10 minutes in the morning and, you know, let it get into my eyes for that 10 minutes in the morning and, what a great way to start. And then the, the moon lately. Oh my gosh, it's just been gorgeous. Yeah, the moon. So talking about the moon, I'm so grateful for that. And I'll tell you one thing that we've been doing here in the States, at least in Colorado. And um, Melanie, you have to let me let us know if this is happening in Ohio. At eight o'clock every night, people are leaving their homes and they are howling at the moon. <laughs> and I just started, just started three days ago and a neighbor told me about it. And I said, what, what do you mean? Well, if I go out at 7:55, there are fireworks. So somebody, somebody somewhere is setting off some fireworks, not a lot, just like <laughs> one big thing of fireworks. And yeah. then you can just hear a rippling of kids and adults all hollowing. And it is, I saw my neighbor, she had a glass of wine with her. I saw the neighbors across the street and it is just like goosebumps all over. And at first I thought, oh, that's so weird, but it's so bonding definitely for the neighborhood. And I saw, you know, friends that live in other places in Colorado, they're doing it as well. Melanie's saying it's the first she's hearing of it. Well, start it in Ohio, Melanie. Start it in Ohio. <laughs> That's hilarious. People, and we, we've been having these beautiful moon. And so mm -hmm. I, um, I know every state is doing something different. We know people in New York who are opening up their balconies at 745 and clapping for the first responders and cheering. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think that, uh, you know, one of the cards I pulled this morning was self-care actually posted it on my instagram at rachel varga official and it just okay yeah don't feel guilty for self-care you know busy moms anybody and i feel like the dancing the moving the howling the banging of the pots and pans it's actually a really great way just to get that sort of like pent up anxiety anger fear emotion just to have some type of outlet because I feel so like so many of us, we kind of stifle our voice a little bit. It's just like, you just gotta like yell and get it out. And I think that's just a really kind of fun thing to do. Yeah, you know, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned um, Dr. Alka Cook earlier yeah. and yeah. I had the pleasure of meeting her in San Diego last year. Awesome. And she talked about dirt and soil yeah. and how yeah. important, and so important soil is. And one of my clients was saying last week that if she she was um she was an emergency room nurse for many years mm -hmm. and she said that because it was always so chaotic going on in the emergency room she would leave and she would put her hands on the dirt so may, i don't know if there was a flower bed that she just kind of put her hands on but that would ground her yep it would ground her kind of center her mm -hmm. and then she'd go back in and so what my question is mud so um I did a mud bath like two more than two decades ago in Sedona, Arizona, and it's, it's I haven't done one since. I did enjoy it when I did it, but mud is that is that good, bad? Like in terms of putting mm. that on your face, your body. I'm just curious about your take on that. I think the 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 methodology of going to the spa for having like a mud bath. This is a really cool question, actually. I feel like it's promoted as like a detox method. However, when I was chatting with Elka Cook and we're talking about our microbiome and how you know our skin has a microbiome, our nose, our mouth, our gut, our, our vaginal tract and all of that, um, the, the purpose of touching foliage, grass, dirt, trees, mud, whatever, is to actually ground a buildup of ions in our body because if you think about it um we okay we're gonna get a bit woo here we live in uh, a world that functions in duality and what i mean by that is charges positive negative charges light shadow and this is getting super woo here and when we are living we have so many different physiological 
things happening, mechanisms going on in our body, right? To make ATP, there's like this, this cool little mall, the, this cool structure that is pumping out hydrogen ions, right? So positive hydrogen ions um, and protons. And these things can actually get built up in our body. So why we need to ground is to help to release some of that mm. extra stuff. And when we don't, we get this like, oh, that, that feeling, right? So when you go out in nature and I mean, all, I'm the person in, in the woods, you're going to see honey in the trees for sure. And I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm right there with you. So good. <laughs> but that's what it's doing. It's actually grounding us because we're not meant to always be on like the second store in a building and always have shoes on and always have our devices that are putting out EMFs we need to actually take ourselves away from that because that's not how we were created, right? To live. Right. So it's almost like we have to do extra things in our lives right now to be able to counterbalance that interference that we're getting because we live in a, a world of, of duality, right? Positive, negative ions, protons, electrons. It's just kind of how things work. We have um, you know, different poles on the planet. Like this is just a, a scientific fact of our planet. And I think just being aware of that is, is a really fascinating concept. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is. It is. Well, I know anytime I am feeling just not steady and just feeling like, ah, I need somehow to take a break. If I go outside, um, now the grass has been kind of cold lately, but with the sun coming down, I take my socks off. Like it's, it feels really good to get my feet on. Yeah. The yeah. Yes. And my kids, you know, they have been playing so much backyard soccer and football and baseball and they're barefoot. Oh my gosh. The feet have been so dirty. We're like, you're not even allowed <laughs> in the house. You have to go through the window to get into the bathroom, mm -hmm. straight into the bathtub. Right. Yeah. Uh, but they are, I mean, it's really quite powerful, right? They are running around for hours barefoot in the grass mm -hmm. and their body is becoming neutral, right? In a sense, like they are really like, I don't know what the, the scientific language is, but they're grounding themselves. They're centering themselves and they're probably calmer because of that. Yeah, well, they're getting rid of all that pent up, uh, you know, ionization in the body. There's a lot of science out there to talk about this. Um, so you mentioned your kids and what I would love is for you guys listening either live here on the call or in the replay to be like a kid and you're going to feel so good. I did this with one of my girlfriends. We went up to this epic beach together, crazy storm. The trees were rustling, uh, you know, the, it was just, it was beautiful hearing the sound of the waves and the trees and the breeze and you know, we were just like kids running around. We'd be like, hey, let's go here. And then my girlfriend got a little freaked out. She's like, I think there might be like a cougar around here. I think we should oh go. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Vancouver Island, right? Canada. There's wilderness around. But we were just like kids and it was so much fun. And it was so just rebalancing. And we're meant to live this way. We're not meant to be like, oh, I'll be very proper and professional <laughs> all the time. Like... That's totally. fun. <laughs> totally. No, it's not. It's not fun for us or our kids watching us as yeah. well. And so it's, that's one thing I'm trying to do right now is find some chunks of time where I'm not in front of a screen, yeah. where I am not looking at a tablet, my computer, the TV, and just really pausing from all of that. And yeah, I mean, I did get outside and play a little soccer, Good. but then I stubbed my toe and I'm like, oh, this mom needs shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah, I got my uh well shades right here too, right? The blue light blockers. Oh yes. Oh okay, yours look way cooler than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just an <laughs> FYI. Uh you don't know until you know with a lot of this stuff. So the UV the the rays on like a cloudy day, we're getting a lot of UVA rays still. They reach about like this deep. The sunny days, we're getting UVB rays, the burning rays. They don't reach quite as shallow, but they make us burn. Blue light from our devices, oh, yeah. deeper than all of them. So when your feet hit the floor, you're in front of a screen. You have to cleanse, moisturize, 
per tack exfoliate a few times a week. So we're going to be kind of getting into all that on our next live call with you. We're going to be doing a cool unboxing mm -hmm. and sharing uh, with you guys here, um, you know, how I can help support you. I've been doing online virtual skin consultations for years. I do charge for that because I spend a whole hour with you and I actually get into some pretty cool uh, health practices that are going to really support your beauty and, and radiance. It's not just about using good products. It's about doing certain practices that I've seen really vibrant men and women across the world doing. And so that's really what I share. So it's very different from those, you know, free 15, 30 minute consoles that you're seeing from other aesthetic doctors and nurses, because they really pull in the, uh, you know, holistic side of what radiance is. So when we're a kid and when we're hanging out and having a good time and doing our self care, our smile is going to be different. Think about that. Oh, totally. Totally. Well, and also what you just said about made me think is that um, we all know like the skin is our largest organ mm -hmm. and <laughs> anything you put on your skin, you want to make sure you could probably like it'd be safe to eat as well in a sense. Like I, for decades, I put things on my skin that I just, I regret now. Now I can't turn back time. It is what it is, but I put on a lot of nasty chemicals on my skin without realizing yeah. I, felt, I fell for the branding. So I was using oil of LA. I'm like, oh, it's a pretty white bottle. I like the logo. It looks so good. It feels good going on. Not realizing all of the toxins that were in it mm -hmm. and going on my skin. And so it's, it's one of those things where I like to be really intentional with what I eat, uh, the foods that I put in my body so that I get a lot of energy and I feel amazing. Yeah. And I want that for my skin as well. Yep. High vibe foods, lots of enzymes, fresh produce, or at least frozen. Got to get your vitamin C and A that way. I actually went foraging. Uh, oh. we, my hubby and I, we live next to a mountain and even on our property at the base of some of the carnivorous trees and in some of the corners of the buildings, there's miners lettuce that just naturally grows. We have a greenhouse and everything, but what we've been doing is actually going out and foraging. Wow. And oh my gosh. Oh, good. So see what you can do in your property or, or whatever. But uh, I mean, you have to know what you're doing. Right. right. Well, this is, this is far from foraging. Um, <laughs> we, li we live in your typical neighborhood. However, I will say that with this, um, my husband has had a little extra time right now. And so he built two beautiful planter boxes in beautiful. the backyard. So I know it's not foraging if you actually plant the seeds. And <laughs> it's, I mean, that's safer, right? Like, right. Just a disclaimer. Well, you didn't I know. hear here. <laughs> there is some beauty in the idea of foraging. And I'll tell yeah. you, my mom lives in Ohio, in northwestern Ohio, and there are so many beautiful metro parks and um and then just empty like just natural lands and so forth. And she'll say, Oh my gosh, like I saw so many mushrooms and uh, but you have to be really careful with mushrooms, you know, like can, there can be some yeah. really dangerous ones. Yeah. But um, the foraging idea is so fun, especially, you know, if you're in a space where you can do it um, and it's allowed and so forth. But for now, I will have to forage my way to the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> so you talk about decluttering and I know for me, obviously, things are getting decluttered in our lives in a big way. So talk to us just uh, briefly about, you know, decluttering totally. our lives, our skincare, self-care, everything. Everything. Well, I'll start off with my husband, actually, because he has been home and he, is, he does home improvement. So he's got all of these materials. So even for him, because we haven't wanted to leave our home to go to the store or anything like that. And so he's actually using these extra materials to build those beautiful planner boxes. And in a sense, that's decluttering because now it's no longer this like heap of stuff it's this useful powerful like there's intention now in these planner boxes cool. yeah isn't that cool and so my husband i would say is a natural minimalist and for me i wasn't um i'm an aspiring minimalist i'm getting better and better at it and i love it so much and when i think about minimalism it's really just focusing on the things that matter most mm -hmm. and getting rid of that clutter and that clutter is it can be anything that stands between you and your best self. That's what clutter is. So some people mm -hmm. think it's only physical or it's 
It's, it's um, just stuff. And it is stuff. And, and Rachel, there's some really interesting research that talks about this stuff. And, you know, if you walk into homes that are full of clutter, uh, there are um, studies where they've looked at cortisol levels, stress mm. levels, and there is a correlation between the level of cortisol and the way the home is described. So if the home is like if people are looking at the home as cluttered and feeling that it's cluttered, the cortisol levels are going up. Um, it's um, really interesting. People who describe their homes as uh, as sanctuaries, as calm and peaceful, their cortisol levels are not going up. And um, and so I think it's just so smart to be like, all right, what is something that I can clean up? How can I just create a calmer space? Because when your cortisol level goes up, I mean, there's a whole like domino effect of things that can happen, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, and one more thing with clutter, um, our choices, the choices we make are not nearly as good. So there was another study that was done and they split the participants and had half worked in a messy office and the other half worked in a clean office and they were filling out forms. They were doing the exact same work. Upon leaving, the people that were leaving the clean office, were two times as likely to choose an apple as a thank you gift than a candy bar. Hmm. And so it's like, wow, if you're working in a mess, more likely than not, you're probably going to find options of foods that aren't nourishing, that aren't going to build your health, that aren't going to build your immunity, and you're going to go for the easier uh, more processed, not nearly as healthy choices. And those types of foods, I feel like are clutter also, clutter in the body because the body does not know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and so anyway, I just think it's fascinating that the um, connection of clutter, that's, we've been talking a lot about physical clutter uh, and, and how it influences your choices and decisions. Yeah. And then, yeah, you also have mental and emotional clutter. And that's something that uh, you know, I'm trying to address personally, it's I'm a work in progress. Uh, I, I look at my mental and emotional clutter and I think, oh, I should do this. I should do that. I should do this. I should do that. And somebody said to me the other day, the other day, don't shit all over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. And that's clutter. Those thoughts are clutter. No, we all need to just take a deep breath, pause, know that we're doing the best that we can, especially in today's environment. Yeah. I just wanted to say, hey, Kelly, hope you're doing well. And yeah, this is really cool. And, and just briefly bringing it to, we're going to wrap up in just a sec here, decluttering your skincare and your beauty routine is going to save you time. It's going to save you money and it's going to reduce your toxic load. Oh my gosh, totally. Absolutely. And give you such clarity and peace of mind. Life will feel so much lighter and so much more radiant mm -hmm. if you address your clutter. Yeah, and yeah. usually the heaviest clutter of all is the emotional clutter. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we all just need to do some inner work. Yeah. <laughs> I did a, a really nice social distancing um, time with, with uh, one of my girlfriends a little while ago. And it's, it was weird hanging out with her. She was literally, I'd say 12 to 14 feet away just because I, you know, just being really paranoid but, you know, we gave ourselves a little healing session that day and it was just really beautiful and do it virtually, if, you know, obviously that's going to be the best thing, but we can still social distance at this time and do it, do that emotional, spiritual, energetic declutter. And one of the ways to do that easiest, cheapest way to do it is find a patch of grass or a patch of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> right. And howl at the moon. <laughs> and that's hilarious. Get that energy out, right? Get that like free energy out that is pent up right now and all that. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Cool. So where can people find you? So I am at Root of Wellbeing. That's uh, my website as well as all my social media. And Root of Wellbeing, kind of the, the inspiration behind that is that it's just so great to know what makes you feel good, what makes mm. you feel light, happy, radiant, and well. And so if we can get to the root cause of our happiness, we can be so much happier, intentionally happier. Life doesn't have to happen to us anymore. It can happen for us. So Root of Wellbeing is where I can be found, my website, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. 
Awesome. All of your info is going to be in the show notes and the description box below, whether you're tuning in to the live replay, which is going to be on YouTube in the video form on my YouTube channel, just Rachel Varga, and then on the podcast platform, the Rachel Varga podcast. And yeah, it was just great hanging out and just being real with one another with how we are taking the time to really acknowledge that, yes, we need to make our self-care and health practices a priority right now mm-hmm. more than ever. Mm-hmm. And I thank you, Heather, so much for being you. And again, for all of you guys listening, I'm offering 15% off site wide on rachelvarga.ca using the promo code simply full, all one word. Yeah, so one just, word, simply full. Yes. Yeah. And may everybody have like this, simple yet full life, right? It's just such a beautiful idea. And I wish everybody radiance and happiness. And Rachel, you are so radiant. And this has been so much fun. So thank you for having me. And thank you for doing this. My pleasure. Thanks, everyone who joined in on the live call. We had a few of you the whole time here. So this was great. And yeah, just uh, send us some love. I'm at Rachel Varga Official on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, Heather, you have your Facebook, just, uh, obviously I'm going to going to put that in the uh, show notes, but just, just mention where people can find you on Facebook too. Right. So it's root of Wellbeing is my Facebook page. And then I actually have a free group called the Wellbeing Alive Tribe. And so that's where I go live pretty often to jam on all things wellness and simplicity and minimalism and just well-being. So that again is called the Wellbeing Alive Tribe. Yeah, that was really fun doing a live with you where we just talked all things skin. I took a bunch of questions from your members, which is really fun. And that replay is available on my YouTube as well. So you uh, aren't going to miss out on that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today and Heather hanging out with me and, you know, giving me some things to think about to declutter. Hmm. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode, the next video podcast live. Just just uh, stay tuned and we'll keep you guys in the loop. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Bye.